Importing data from Excel. Transactions. You can import your transactions into all orders using Excel import templates. In this tutorial, we will show you how to import a quantity adjustment. This is an ideal way to import your opening inventory quantities into all orders. Importing transactions can also be used to import sales orders and quotes, ship docs and customer returns, work orders, receivers and vendor returns, and location transfers. All Orders provides Excel templates that can be used to import data from other sources. Make sure that you have the Excel software installed on your computer. The import templates are located in the C drive, Program Files, Number Cruncher, All Orders, Import, and Select the File. In this case, we are importing the Adjust Inventory file. You can rename the templates but you should not rename any of the columns or delete any of the worksheets. You can, however, add worksheets. The import templates contain multiple tabs or worksheets representing the table structure of all orders. In Excel, the sheets are linked together using a primary reference. These references are in bold, which means that they are required entries. In this template, the primary reference is the control ref, and it is used to link all the tabs. The control ref is any alphanumeric value that you create, and it is a unique way of identifying each adjustment. The worksheets in the Excel templates mirror the all orders table structure. For example, this inventory adjustment template has three worksheets. Inventory Adjustment Header represents the top portion of the Adjust Inventory Entry Form. Inventory Adjustment Item represents each item to be included in the Quantity Adjustment. And the Lot Serial Numbers Worksheet is used to import lots or serial numbers if applicable. The first worksheet, Inventory Adjustment Header, is the starting point. You must enter values in this sheet first before any other sheet will be considered. Again, the control ref is any alphanumeric value, for example using A1. The value you create should be a simple, unique way of naming each adjustment. In this example, we will create two adjustments. Under the control ref column, we will name our first and second adjustments A and B. The first adjustment is for the Florida warehouse, and the second one is for the California warehouse. Finish completing the mandatory bolted field account. If you are importing your opening balance quantities into all orders that will sync to QuickBooks, then your account should be the equity account, opening balance equity. When you are updating your quantities, your account should be cost of goods sold. Then, complete any other fields. Next, on the Inventory Adjustment Item Sheet, that'll be where you list each item to be adjusted. Type in the mandatory fields, Control Ref, Item Full Name, and the adjusted quantity. If you do not have lots of serial numbers, then you are complete. If you have bins, lots, and or serial numbers, we will take it a step further. Notice on Control Ref A, Item J457 is repeated twice because I wanted to make an adjustment to two separate bins with the quantity stated for each bin. The same goes for Control Ref B. The item's Control Ref and item full number are repeated twice, but this one has two lot Control Refs, B1 and B2. If an item has lots or serial numbers, you will need to complete the lot and serial numbers worksheet. In this case, the lot control ref corresponds to each lot or serial number entry. Lot control ref is used to link the inventory adjustment item worksheet to the lot serial numbers worksheet. In lot control ref B1, there were 30 items, now divided into two lots. Lot control ref B2 was also divided. Once your template is complete and ready to import, on all orders, choose File, Import, 
Excel, and then pick the data type you wish to import from the submenu that appears, which is Quantity Adjustments.